you guys need any cards, packs, sleeves, anything of that nature, shop on TCG Player using my affiliate link in the description. There was no way we weren't going to be doing this deck, of course. Um, this is the, I think, first Neospatian list to ever top in Edison form, at least like in, no, I think just maybe ever in Edison format, which is, uh, of course, my uh, Neospatian Diva Hero list from RBCT way, that was like a full year ago, actually. Whew, time flies. You know what? I think I started my channel around that time. It has been like a year. Wow. It's just like dawning on me. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is one of my all-time favorite decks of the entire format. I think out of all the crazy Neospatian stuff I've done, this is the pile that I consider to be the greatest success by far. Um, it's probably one of my least believed in builds to ever top as well, which is something I don't quite understand because it feels pretty strong when I play it. I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's just like got a lot of good cards, you know. Um, basically, it's like Diva Hero, but we cut out a lot of the sort of filler cards um, and just went for the super streamlined plan of like, yep, we're going to summon level eights, we're going to summon ab zero, and we're going to summon boss monsters, and we're just going to try to like win the game, you know. Um, so... We have Dad, of course, and then also Sork, both super enabled by the um, the Neospatian engine, of course, being able to um, Arma, send Porter, get Panthers, just three darks in rotation right there for Dad. Then, of course, Convert Contact, send Light Dark, sets up Sork, so that's really good. Gores, Trag, should need to explain those. I play them in, like, everything. Um, then we just play four heroes, Neos Alias, because we want another Light for Sork. Um, I think having another Light for Sork is a bigger issue than having another Water for um ab zero getting the water for ab zero is really easy honestly um even like a true hero only plays five waters in his diva hero build and we also play five waters but the other one is dolphin which means you can just get it off contact or porter anytime so it's hyper searchable you can get off rota as well um so yeah uh the consistency of having miracle live shouldn't be too bad the neospatian package itself is like about as minimal on bricks as you can get it with just four spatians one porter um, then Armageddon Knight, Plague, the Dark Engine is really nice sort of bridge connecting the uh, the various parts of this build because, of course, the Neospatian stuff, as I've mentioned before, goes really, really well with, um, with like, Arma, Dad, Allure, um, plus, like, Rota Foolish. So then we got the Divas and the Sangen, shouldn't need to explain those too much. They're pretty much in every Diva Hero build. Um, for the Spell Traps, we've got Brain Mind, Heavy, MST, Staples. We've got the Draw Power. I'm on two Contacts. I think... I was originally on three, actually, but three is probably too many for playing just four spatians and no, like, avarice or any way to recycle them. Um, so I think two is a little bit more realistic um, for the build going forward. It's definitely, like, you can high roll and play three and just um, commit to the sort of turbo strategy of, like, I want to I want to resolve a bunch of draw cards. But I think two is the more consistent, better route to go. Or of course, as I mentioned, on on the Allure, Rota, Foolish, pretty much play these in every Neospatian deck. Um, they're really nice sort of one-off spells you get to run. Then Future Fusion Miracle, of course, it's Diva Hero. Um, and the trap lineup is pretty standard. Um, Phoenix Wings to get Mally out of hand. You can also get Mally out of hand with Dolphin, which is pretty cool. Um, and because of this, I'm not playing Greffer. I'm just playing the one Arma instead. And, I mean, the side is pretty standard. We throw in the Snowmans for, like, aggro matchups and stuff. Um, if you play against something that sides in DDV, you might well want to take out some of the uh, the Spatians or whatever. It depends. Um, usually I don't take out the Spatians, but having Snowman versus, just like, Black Wings or Hero Beat or, or whatever in the, the current metagame I think is a solid choice. Crow's side wrist, Staple, Road, you know, Dust, Mask of Restrict. I've been running this card more in um, in sideboards where I just, like, have builds a special summon a lot, but don't play tribute monsters. So I think it's like better than trying to side die in our vanities. Uh, and then limb. So yeah, uh, extra super standard as well. I've been rambling on about this list for a while, actually. I mean, yeah, it's just all the level eights, one, the good seven, the good sixes, the good fives, and then the fusions that you play. I didn't put any of the super poly stuff in here. I mean, maybe I could switch it up and try and throw that in, especially with that Gemini deck running around that that could be a pretty sweet, option as well um because you can play wrapped in this and super poly off two of their monsters which is really sick but i don't know i haven't really messed around with it much my impression was that super poly is kind of overrated in the hero decks but th that was like predating um predating the gemini deck coming onto the scene so that's the list let's finally get into the gameplay segment of the video oh we drew the stratos return i was kind of gonna rota for that but I guess we can just rota for arma next turn or we can rota for arma this turn but that would give our opponent some info 
So I think I'm going to not do that. Instead, we're going to do this. Pretty standard, strong opening move for heroes. And we could also roto for Aqua Dolphin if we so wanted to. Um, all right. So the opponent summoning Cyber Dragon. Not great for us. We're just going to let it get run over, I think. Hmm. Sark. So what could I do? I could technically Rota for Arma. I could send Plague. I could make a level 8. But I would have to stack. And then my Miracle would be completely dead. I kind of want to Rota for Arma, send to Porter, get Aqua Dolphin, I feel like. So they Sark for Brain Con. That's a really good draw. That is a really good draw. So we're going to start with Phoenix Wing Wind Blast on a random set card. We'll hit the new one. Or, well, they, they were set at the same time. Hit the one that he set second, I guess. So he's going to book his own Sidra. I mean, we're cool with that. I think we definitely hit the one we wanted to hit there. Now it's a question... I think we diva for Gilman. Because... Any, like, one disruption would still stop me from sinking, but this way we get over the Sidra no matter what. Uh, if we want, we could also follow this up with a Miracle Fusion for Ab Zero. I think I'm going to actually conserve here. Because I want... Mm, yeah, I think I will. Let's just hit over with the Gilman. If it's Deep Prison, then I guess we suck. I don't know. <laughs> and we set the Phoenix Wing. Yeah, I think this was fine. We don't need to get in that extra 25 this turn, because we can just kill next turn, probably. Or at least threaten to. Right, there's a brain control coming. Maybe I should have been actually in more of a hurry, given that there's a brain control coming, but... Eh, I don't know. I think, if, if anything, the Miracle Fusion play actually makes the brain even worse for us. Um, where's that Armageddon Knight? So, we could send Cross Porter... We could also just not. We could also send Plague and... I think I'm going to send Cross Porter, actually. Let's just send Cross Porter. I would rather just get the plus while I got this Phoenix Wing in my hand. So that's what we're going to do. And then I think we're going to use the Porter to get that Grand Mole out of our deck. Add to hands. Then it's just a question of... No, okay. we can just win this turn, right? I can Storm into Phoenix Wing Windblast. Maybe I should Phoenix Wing the set first. Okay, yeah, let's do that. So let's do that. Let's activate Storm. Then is that game on board? I don't think it is. Okay, it actually is. 14. Is it game through Gores? I don't think anything is game through Gores, actually. Miracle might play around the Gores better, but I don't think there's a Gores. Like, I don't think they're setting Dust with Gores in hand. So I'm just going to still not Miracle. Alright. I have no clue what my opponent's playing, so I'm just going to do this. I mean, I, I didn't really figure it out from... It had Cyber Dragon. It had maybe some... Maybe it was like... They had Sark? What plays Cyber Dragon and Sark? Like completely perplexing. I'm... I have no clue. I have legitimately no clue. I know a true hero was on Sark in his D.Va hero build, but it didn't look like that, because Cyber Dragon doesn't make sense in there. And it's like Dragons. No, Cyber Dragon doesn't make sense in there. Light Sworn. Not really. Sark plus Cyber Dragon is actually a weird combination. This hand's pretty solid. We can summon Armageddon Knight, send Porter, get the Neospatian, and then um, when they clear the Armanite, we just resolve Convert Contact. 
We draw Miracle Fusion, that's a nice pickup, so we're going to want to get the Aqua Dolphin. Alright, send Porter at Aqua Dolphin. Battle phase attack. And then here we're going to set the Mystical Space Typhoon, I think. Um, don't want to set the mirror behind it, because I kind of want it to die anyway. But I kind of want to set something. So your opponent will play around the, the set card, you know? Oh, it's Fairy. Okay. So... That's Fairy with Sark? I see... Do we, do we understand why I was weirded out by that? Like, that's so strange. Anyway, we're probably just going to go with the um, the Convert Contact next turn. Let's eat 1,400. So that's one fairy. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and activate this. So we're going to send Aqua Dolphin and Glow Moss. And hopefully, let's shuffle the deck really good so we don't draw that malicious I saw on top. <laughs> okay. So, we could Brain Tribute Set Malicious. I like that play. I like that play. It makes our Phoenix Wing a little bit worse, but I don't think it... Maybe they'll, like, deep prison this or something. No, that would be... There's no way. Okay. So, Tribute, Set, Mally. And I am going to space here in case this is a pro set heavy. Because I want to put a mirror behind this in case of DD Warrior Lady. Because DD, DD Warrior Lady would kind of ruin my game right... Or ruin my day right now, you know? Would not be good. Alright, here I'm just going to summon... Oh... That is live. I think I'm just going to summon Gilman attack. The thing is, if this goes through, we have lethal. <laughs> oh. oh, man. All right. But if it doesn't go through, it's so bad. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's not live. The, the, the malicious needs to die first. What am I talking about? I've... Uh... Doing some bad math with darks in here. Okay. Let's just summon Spined Gilman in an attack. I can't really afford to get this D-Prison, so I'm not going to summon that. Poking for 17 is not bad here. We are vulnerable to the crash into Christia, though. But we have Phoenix Wing in our hand to deal with that. Our opponent's just setting it all. That means they probably drew Solemn Judgment, since I don't believe that fairies play Starlight Road. So let's just attack with this, see if there's something. I don't think fairies play deep prison. Okay, they have a deep prison. Well, it was a weird build from the start. Um, I'm pretty sure fairies just play bottomless in Book of Moon, usually. All right, I'm just going to set... Let's set two to play around Dust Shoot from now on, actually. We need to draw Diva here. So they're Sarking. Again, I feel like the Sark is kind of losing them the game. I don't know. Yeah, we need Diva. Mainly, we just want D.Va, yeah. Mainly, we just want to draw D.Va. Even if that play gets stopped, we could use it. We just need this Mally to go to Grave so our dad will be live, you know? Okay, the Sark for Card Trooper? What the hell? I mean, all right. Well, my wish has been granted. Let's go ahead and summon it. No Royal Oppression. Okay. Put this in defense. Let's flip this. See if there's a Book of Moon? Nope. Well, I'm about to summon Dark Armed and start popping things. Alright. If there's oppression here... Okay, there's Judgment. I think we just... Yeah, we can't stop that. So this is the point where I summon Dad. Because we don't have another... Maybe I should have summoned Dad later, actually. I don't, I don't know if I did this the right time. Yeah, and I, I did... I got really unlucky there, too. Oh, well. We can make Thought Ruler Archfiend. 
And then... Yeah, let's make Thought Ruler our train. Hmm, we were one card short of being able to go for game no matter what. If only I'd held. Okay. Um, so they had both bottomless set. That was kind of a worst case scenario for us. This one has to be Solemn. No, wait, Solemn's been used. What am I talking about? Okay, um, yeah, we just pass. I maybe do that slightly out of order. If I had made Thought Ruler first, there would have been a smaller chance of, um, a smaller chance that the dad would have gotten bottomless. I think we should maybe just let them have the card trooper. Hmm, I don't know. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see much value to going for it this turn, so I'm not gonna. Let's just wait for heavy or something, actually. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let them prio. Get them another fairy, another fairy. Okay, that kind of sucks. They're on four right now. Mm, if he summons Christy, we just torrential though. Yep, Torrential Tribute. Should have waited for him to target, although they're all recruiters, so it's like, whatever. And then he redraws into the Christia, which is dead. Okay, now it's just a matter of, does he have another back row? Alright, he's just not... That means this should be the end of the game. Hopefully. Actually, it's not guaranteed. Mirror Force is still out. Alright, that's an issue. Uh, In that case, this game could drag on for a while. Alright, we're gonna go. Summon Absolute Zero. Uh, Torrential's gone. Maybe I just should just summon the Sangan and attack. Alright, we're gonna try to hit with that. They have a Compulsory. Attack with Sangan. Alright, they are very low. And we still have another Miracle Fusion that is dead. And we can't search a hero off Sangan. Uh, compulsory is kind of inconvenient for us there, actually. Did we use Stratos yet? No. Okay, so Stratos and Aelius are both in the deck. Sangan dies. We can just get... Um... Hmm. We can get... What exactly do I get? Okay, that's really good. That's really good. That's really, 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 really good. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> okay. So, we summon you. Effect. Battle phase. And then we ask for this. And then we battle step Phoenix Wing the set monster. And I think we should pretty much win there. I think we should pretty much win there. Because he can't use Mirror Force now. And if it's Book, he's still dead. What could it even be? Waboku? Like, <laughs> oh, that would be pretty funny, though. I'd put it in the thumbnail. I lost to Waboku. All right, nope, we won. Well, that pretty conclusively proves that Neospatian is the best deck and that fairies are garbage. 
Hope you were watching this, Keegan. I hope you're watching. Anyway, be sure to uh, tune in next time. Let me know what you thought in the comments section, all that stuff, and I will see you then. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Furthermore, if you enjoy my content, you should think about becoming a channel member. You get access to tons of bonus content, and it's a great way to help support the channel.